Translate means you need to move the shape to a new position on a coordinate grid. Now when you ask to carry out a translation you'll be given a vector. The vector will tell you the directions to move the shape in. If the number at the top of the vector will tell you whether to move the shape left or right. If it's negative you move the shape to the left, if it's positive you move the shape to the right. The bottom number of the vector will tell you whether to move it down or up. If it's negative you move the shape down, if it's positive you move the shape up. So let's look at example 1. So we need to translate this triangle by the vector 5 minus 2. So the top number of the vector is positive 5. So this means we move the shape 5 right. The bottom number of the vector is minus 2, so this means move it 2 down. So all we need to do now is move each corner 5 squares right and 2 squares down. So let's start with the top corner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2. Let's do this corner next. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2. Final corner, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. So once you've done that, just join the corners up. So you can see the original shape has been moved to a new position. So let's take a look at example 2. So this time we need to translate this triangle again by the vector minus 4 plus 2. So the top number of the vector is minus 4, so this means move the shape 4 left. And the bottom, of the bottom number of the vector is plus 2, so this means move it 2 up. So again, take each corner and move it 4 left and 2 up. Let's start with this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Uh, let's do the top corner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. And the final corner, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So just join the points up again. And you should be able to see it's the same shape, but it's just been moved to a new position.